Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, so uh, this is my review for Folsom Prison Blues. Apologies for the terrible quality. The microphone battery died. It's because I burnt it while doing my social distance adventure the other day. Anytime I ever think of Supernatural Season 2, while this is not one of my favorite episodes of the season, it is a pretty good one, and it's actually a pretty iconic one. For one, this is an episode that entirely takes place in a prison, and it's probably the dumbest idea that the brothers have ever gotten themselves into. This episode, I swear, 90, maybe 95, I'm gonna go out on 90% of this episode was filmed at Riverview. Some of the shots are just so obviously Riverview. Like for instance, the yard that they show at the beginning, that building, that specific building, I can't remember the name of it, but that lot, that area has been used for a prison set of some sort. Different times, too, different years. It was used for a prison set on Manhattan High Castle. It was used, obviously, for Supernatural. It's been used for Win Winona Earp or Van Helsing, the TV show that's been shot. It's always been a popular location for Supernatural, but this time they just went boom. There's a shot at the end of the episode where the convoy is coming up a road. That's one of the roads that's in the Riverview property. This episode follows the brothers going into a prison to try and hunt down a ghost. It's by far the dumbest plan that they've ever had. It did work into the whole threat with them being chased by the law. They supposedly owe Deacon, this character who never comes back again, by the way, at least not as this character. He, The actor comes back in season six as a completely different character, oddly enough, in the French Mistake episode. This episode, he is their contact on the inside. He apparently did something for their father and apparently saving your father's life once equals a favor that is beyond that of which anyone should ever ask someone, which is purposely getting in prison, going to jail, and trying to find a ghost and destroy it in a week. It's a really good mix of scary and humor. There's a lot of good humor in the episode of Dean very naturally acclimatizing to the entire prison lifestyle and getting cigarettes and accumulating with the general population, whereas Sam is actually trying to be serious and figure out what's going on. We see Agent Hendrickson again. It's a pretty Pretty good standard episode. The thing I remember the most about it is the ghost, which is the ghost nurse. She's a pretty small. Oh. Okay. I find that the ghost nurse was actually a pretty cool design, not only with what she looked like, but also the angular design of the, the actress's face. There's a shot where they show nothing but just above her nose and her eyes, and just above her, of her eyebrows, and it's a great shot. It almost looks like a painting, but it's one of the scariest shots I think they ever did in Supernatural because all they're showing is her eyes. We see someone dying opposite to her, but all we keep cutting back to is her eyes. Another kind of interesting fact about it is that it was directed by Mike Roll, who would direct here and there episodes throughout season one to six, I think seven, and now he's just done nothing but Hallmark episodes. He actually directed The Usual Suspects, which was the one that they got Linda Blair in, which that's pretty cool for him to have these two episodes both crime related in this season. The spooks are scary. There's some good lines here and there, some good humor, some good horror. It's a general good episode. If I were ever to suggest someone to watch an episode of Supernatural, this is one of the ones I would say. It is a classic episode, I guess you would say, if I were to describe all Supernatural. In the end, I'm gonna give this episode a five out of seven. I enjoy full, some prison blues. I think it's a good episode. My detractors more so from it are just the, the stupidity of the plan. And also the convenience of the car being right outside the prison. Obviously, I understand that they have to escape, but when they just walk casually out and the car is just right there, it's like, all right, guys, Okay. But now we're going to talk about the comments you guys left me in my review for uh, Hollywood Babylon. I asked you guys about this episode here, so let's see what you guys have to say. Love many things about this episode, particularly the ease that Dean fits into the prison life. Getting to see Ed Henriksen again, and getting to see Hadrian Henriksen again, and the public defender that helps them escape with the wonderful choice of Rooster to close out the song. Oh yeah, the Alice in Chains song is a good song. Emphasizes that they are still in a shit ton of trouble with Henriksen on their tail. Some kudos to the episode for fooling me that their arrest was purposeful and the guard hurting Dean was actually Deacon. Yeah, that's a, there's a few kind of eh, bait and switches. They're not as good now. Like maybe when I watched them as a kid, I was like, oh, but now they're just such obvious 
obvious plans. It's standard story writing. It's not lazy story writing, but it is standard to the point where you can see it coming from a mile off. Also, yes, the actress too, the one who plays her lawyer, never came back in this entire show, but I remember her too. It does help that I watched this season about a jillion times. Folsom Prison Blues has a great Alice in Chains moment. It's a funny thing that Sam is upset while they're in jail helping a friend and Dean later in season five is upset that they're in a psych ward helping a friend. Overall, not the best episode of Supernatural, but certainly not the worst. I can agree with that one. I actually don't remember the psych ward. Nope, can't remember the name of it. Folsom Prison Blues builds up the tension for both Supernatural and the human threat. While there are some details of their plan with some little far-fetched and punch effects sound a bit comical. Oh yeah, the, the punch effects are pretty comical. Overall, there's a continuation of Henrik's obsession with Dean and the tease of legit capture. The FBI fugitive concept shows that brothers were, face real-world con consequences. Often the stuff they get away with now seems ridiculous. Not, not a main arc material, but a good episode. I applaud the writers who played the long game with Henrik and, Henriksen's subplot. Also, there are more discussions of the Winchester's values like loyalty, stubbornness, and sacrificing for others. Doesn't have the same weight now, seeing how it's the catalyst for every conflict that the brothers have at this point, as along the keeping secrets from e along with keeping secrets from each other. Yes, 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 a hundred times yes. But at the same time, this episode really was a good old healthy character development. Also, Prison Dean was pretty great comic relief. I'll agree with you there, yeah. No, no, a lot of good points. A lot of this stuff is kind of detracted away now, but that's what happens when you pull yourself out over 15 seasons. That's all your comments, and now the next episode is actually the second highest rated episode of season two, aside from obviously All Hell Breaks Loose part two. What is and what should never be? This is one of the best episodes of Supernatural from what I remember. So make sure to give me your guys' comments about that episode and I'll read them off in the next episode review. Anyways guys, that's all from me. Uh, Arrow would say bye, but she's laying in front of the camera right now. So anyways, that's all from me. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.